What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we got to talk about Riley Hurts piloting the number 18 next season. That's right, as, as you just heard, Riley Hurts will be driving the number 18 Toyota Supra in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for Joe Gibbs Racing. Yeah. Why? I don't know. But anyway, let's get into the report. So, I'm going to read the report right now. Riley Hurts to pilot the number 18 Toyota Supra beginning with the 2020 Xfinity Series season. Joe Gibbs Racing announced today that, that Riley Hurts will move will make the move to full-time NASCAR Xfinity Series driver um, in 2020 competing in the number 18 Toyota Supra. Hertz will be also contend for the 2020 Rookie of the Year honors. Hertz made his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut at Iowa Speedway on June 17, 2018 and finished with a strong 7th place finish. Yeah, strong 7th place finish. I know it's his first race, but in a Joe Gibbs car while so strong. <laughs> Hertz has eight races under his belt in 2018, earning three top 10 finishes and has had one more opportunity to secure his first win of the season when he climbed in the number 18 Supra at ISM Race Week on November 9, 2019 before turning his attention to the 2020 season. I'm very excited to compete full-time next season in the Xfinity Series in the iconic number 18, said Herbs. I've enjoyed a transition to Xfinity car this season, learned a ton, and look forward to continuing to learn next season and improve each and every week. I'm eager to get started and have Monster Energy back with me and can't wait for Daytona. Monster Energy, Orca Coolers, and Terrible's Herbs will continue their relationship with Herbs and move to the Xfinity Series with him in 2020. Monster Energy is super pumped to continue with Riley, said Mitch Covington, VP of Sports Marketing Monster Energy. He has a, he's been a monster man his whole life, and we are really proud of him. We are looking forward to a great career with Riley and excited to be with Gibbs, Sable, and Xfinity. Las Vegas, Nevada native started his career at Joe Gibbs Racing in 2017 as part of their development program and competing in the ARCA Series. In his first season with JGR, Hertz missed the season over at Daytona National Speedway due to his 18th birthday falling a few days after the race, but competed in the remaining 19 races where he scored one win, six top five finishes, and 10 top 10 finishes. Continuing to compete in the ARCA Series, Hertz has made a total of 47 starts in the series, earning one win, 16 top five finishes. 30 top 10s, earning one win, 16, oh wait, I already said that, and has led 310 laps. Hurts is also competing in the limited number of Camping World Truck Series races for Kyle Busch Motorsports, KBM, throughout the 2018 and 2019 season. Prior to joining JGR's driver development program, Hurts competed full-time in the NASCAR Canyon West Series in 2016 and a limited number of races in 2017, garnering 16 starts with a career-best finish to third on four different occasions. So yeah, that's kind of the report from from Jay Ski. So yeah, Riley Hurts is gonna run full time in the eighteen in Xfinity. Can I just ask why? Why is he in the eighteen? I like I like to know why Riley Hurts is in the eighteen. He's not that good. He really isn't that good. He's worse than Brandon Jones. At least Brandon Jones now has a win in the Xfinity series now. I'm not saying that Brandon Jones is a great driver, but at least he has a win, and he's better than him. Riley has one win in ARCA. One win in ARCA off of fuel mileage. You want to know another funny stat? You know how many races... Uh, let me show you this. You want to know how many wins Ty, Ty Gibbs has? Would you like to know how many wins Ty Gibbs has? Because Ty Gibbs is a better driver. I'm going to read you stats from Ty Gibbs. This, this guy is way better. And I don't understand why Riley's getting this right. When there's drivers that are more capable than him to drive this car. So, let's go through Ty Gibbs stats. So, I'm bringing Ty Gibbs up because I want to critic character... Um, trying to think of the word, sorry. Um, compare these two. So... Ty Gibbs, six starts, one win, and all the races, he's finished in the top 10 and has led 116 laps. Arca, in 11 starts, two wins, seven top fives, and nine top tens and two poles, and has led 437 laps. And he finished 13th in 11 starts. Riley Hurts is way worse than Ty is, but yet guess who gets to have the ride? Uh, Riley Hurts. But also you have to understand that Ty Gibbs is too young to drive um, to drive the car, which makes sense. But 
It's just ridiculous. I mean, the dude has done nothing. What has he done? He's not good. He's he's awful. And he has also not the best attitude, in my opinion. I don't think Riley Herbst has the best attitude in the world. As he was kind of a douchebag to one of the reporters on MRN. I think it was MR. Was it MRN or um, was it uh, Fans Choice TV? I can't remember when, what it was from. But basically, Riley uh, is not a great driver. He's not. He's just not good. I don't understand why Monster likes this kid. He's not that good. He's not that good. He's, he really isn't. He, he, it's just frustrating. Because there's so many people that deserve to ride more more than him. Like, like look at, like, Jeff Earnhardt's better than him. Like, come on. I mean, yeah, Jeffrey's not the greatest driver in the world, but Jeffrey's a better driver. You got drivers who are not in, are not full-time. That should be in there. What about Austin Terrio? Where is he at? Oh, wait, he's driving part-time in Cup right now in craft cars. Imagine winning Austin Terrio in a good car. I just I just don't get it with this this dude. I've never really liked him since he came into the Xfinity Series and NASCAR in general. I really have never, can never really stand him since he started. I just, I never understood why Joe Gibbs really has taken interest, interest in this guy. It's just, it's just ridiculous to me. The, the guy has done nothing to deserve this. He's barely done it. He's but three top tens and nine starts and Joe Gibbs equipment. The same equipment that guys like Christopher Bell and Eric Jones have won in that have come before him. And yet, and yet he gets to have an opportunity to drive in this. I don't expect, let me give you my opinion. I don't think he will win. I don't think he'll finish in the top 10 in the standings even possibly. I think he'll get a quite a few top 10s, but I don't think he's going to be competing jack squat next year. I don't think he'll be competing for a championship. I'm sorry, but but Riley Hurts is not going to be competing for a championship. Not a chance in hell. With He doesn't have enough experience. He's not ready. Why? Why in the world is he driving... The 18 car in the Xfinity Series. It's ridiculous. He doesn't deserve it. There's drivers more willing to freaking drive in it. And you're telling me this guy deserves to drive this car? I'm sorry, but but not a chance in hell. Sorry. I just wanted to get a little that off my chest. I'd have never understood why this guy ever has gotten a ride to begin with in the Xfinity and Truck Series. He's not good. So, yeah. I want to thank guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can know if my video does go live on my channel. Follow me on all my social medias. Links in the description below. The links in the description below for that. And comment and comment below uh, your opinions on this. Do you think he deserves the deserves the right or no? Just let me know below. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.